If you've been watching this channel long enough, you might be asking yourself by now, are you guys ever gonna stop building machines and actually make something? Well... <sighs> what have you done? Uh, no. Our little garage has seen a lot of changes since we started this channel. We keep getting new capabilities in here and keep finding ourselves with new work that demands new toys. You might have seen us make a few things on a tour mock in the last season. And any of you that picked up one of our photon printer adapters, it was made on that machine. We're borrowing some time on it. But we need our own. Actually, if you're paying close attention, you may have seen this machine in the final episode of season two. So we picked up a Precision Matthews PM940M. Why? Honestly, there are so many decisions that go into a big project like that, it would probably be a much better idea to just go buy a Tormach, or a Haas, or a Mazak, or whatever. Well-paved roads get you all kinds of places. So of course, we decided to build our own. Well, not as bad as the Surface Grinder build your own, but a good mix of off-the-shelf and homemade parts. We picked up a 940 because it's a good size, reasonably solid, and a similar size and format to the Tormach. There's also some CNC kit parts we can leverage. I actually don't think this would make a very good manual mill, just because of the handle location on the Z, and I have some questions about the main column, but we'll see. Other than that, it seems uh, reasonably well built. <clears throat> Foreshadowing. All right, guys, sorry, I'm gonna have to pause the video just for a second. I have a bit of a favor to ask. Uh, in a few months, we're gonna be going to our local Maker Faire in Orlando. If you're in the area, come check us out. If you've never been to a Maker Faire, I highly recommend it. It is a ton of fun. In any case, uh, it does cost a little bit of money to put those things on, and Maker Faire has started a new program called the Makeathon, which they're gonna be sending us a box of parts. We get to build something, and there's some sort of competition. To be honest, I'm not really sure what to expect yet. It's a brand new program, but I'm excited, and I'm gonna share it with you guys as well. In any case, it is a fundraiser, and they're trying to raise a little bit of money to help fund Maker Faire and all their other projects. Uh, so there's going to be a link in the description where you can donate. Uh, you just search for Physics Anonymous in there, and you can donate specifically for our team. And we would really greatly appreciate it. I'm putting in some of my own money, and if you have a little bit to spare, uh, that'd be awesome. All right, back to the show. So yeah, we noticed quite a few problems with this machine as we pulled it apart. First thing, every single bolt, and I mean every single bolt was at best finger tight. Also, nearly every surface of this thing is covered in Bondo, to the point where I'm not really sure how much cast iron is really under there. This results in tons of paint chipping right out of the box, and just kind of an overall crummy feeling to it. It also looks like they assembled it immediately after painting, so any two surfaces that are touching that would have paint on them are now bonded together, and if you pull them apart, you'll rip the paint off. With that said, if you are buying one of these, it's probably best to completely disassemble it and put it back together yourself. But this is a good start to a new adventure. Welcome to season three of Physics Anonymous. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this doesn't end up to be another 49 episode season. So you know we can't get into our attic anymore, right? I was hoping maybe we could have a little dialogue about that. Steve said, it would be nice to see it actually grind in real time without all that fancy blah, 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 blah. That's a very good point. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to cover a lot of the stuff on the Surface Grinder, and we'll make sure to include some raw video. Uh, if you want to make sure you get that, go ahead and click the little bell down in the description so you can make sure you get a notification. OpenD said, I guess everyone noticed that the lathe works fine without the Surface Grinder. That's true, with a few asterisks. Uh, we've got a future episode planned to correct a lot of things on that. We'll get to it. Bexby asked, it would be great to see an in-depth video of Surface Grinder stuff. <clears throat> Subscribe. Max Maker asked, I almost forgot your aim was to fix the lathe two years ago. Kevin says, now you have the right to ask Tom Lipton about his etching press. Tom. Nobody asks, hey, where can I buy one of those t-shirts? I'm so glad you asked, nobody. I'll make sure to put a link in the description where you can buy them because nobody cares about our t-shirts. Uh, Barnsey Barney's 44 asked, if you're grinding and the sparks are going towards your face, put it in reverse. I was going for that whole wind in your hair look. Yeah. Puko Puko said, had zero faith in you from day one. But it looks like you got yourself a useful tool. Dirk asks, going back even further, you needed the surface grinder to straighten the ways of the lathe so that you could build the first surface grinder. So now what? Well, Dirk, 
most likely we'll embark on a completely ridiculous tangent episode of something or another that seems like it's completely unrelated, but hopefully hooks back to the original idea that, uh, oh gosh darn it, why do we keep doing this to ourselves? DBB thought that washer idea was so great, he had to say it twice. Good point. Uh, Shaden HKW Barzi, you guys probably follow him, uh, showed something off in one of his episodes that was really, really similar. So we pretty much just copied that idea. And I totally didn't give him credit, but we should correct that in a future episode. Yeah, re remind us about that in the comments. We'll make sure to do that. Eddie Tower says, my dudes, your videos are few and far between. That over 11 minutes of video makes me feel like a cheap date. Like you wake up in the morning, find all of us in your bed, and the first thing you say to us is, the hell, are you still here? The total amount of absentee time between each of your videos and the time you allot us when you do show up is literally the amount of time that newly wedded Hollywood celebrities get divorced. Literally, after 11 minutes. Give us at least 15 to 20 minutes. This seems like court-appointed time to visit. That surface grinder seems like what it was in Val Kilmer's Red Planet movie. It looks like one of NASA's equipment on the ISS. It looks like something funded by SpaceX. I thought with all the production that went into the making of this style of video, the end would fade into black with the words, got milk. No, just kidding. I thought you guys needed a little razzing all the time and effort that went into making the surface grinder. Uh, one should take time to truly laugh at least once a day. It looks awesome. Congrats, guys. Finished product. You both deserve it. Thanks for the videos.